watching Channel 12 Eyewitness News, Southern New England's news station. The search continues tonight for survivors after a TWA jet crashes in the waters off Long Island. Live team coverage is just ahead. I'm going to tell we're flying over the scene of the crash of TWA Flight 800. We'll have the latest info on this investigation coming up. And we now know there were Southern New Englanders on board the ill-fated flight. We'll tell you who they were and how their families are coping with the tragedy. Channel 12 Eyewitness News begins right now. Good evening, I'm Walter Cryan. And I'm Karen Adams. Four Southern New Englanders are feared dead and among the victims in the crash of TWA Flight 800, the 747 jumbo jet exploded and crashed into the Atlantic south of Long Island. Two of the people on board were crew members from Connecticut. Also on board, a couple from Martha's Vineyard. Floating debris is all that's left of the TWA jetliner that went down 20 minutes after takeoff. Coast Guard crews say they're not giving up hope as they continue to search for any possible survivors. 228 people were on board the plane when it exploded around 8.40 last night. That included 18 crew members. So far, 104 bodies have been recovered, many burned beyond recognition. Now, this map gives you a better idea where the plane went down last night. And tonight, we bring you live team coverage, beginning with Channel 12's Walt Buteau. To give you some perspective of where we are, we're about halfway between the shore and the crash scene. We're 6,500 feet up, and we're 40 miles east of New York City. Uh, just north of the crash. A dozen Coast Guard boats are on the water searching for clues. Above them and below us, Coast Guard planes fly by. Together, they're combing 240 square miles of ocean. As you look down, you can see not only the ships from the Coast Guard, but also pieces of the plane. Those are the specks of white you see between and among all those ships. Of course, they will try to recover as many of those pieces as they can, and that will hopefully help them determine exactly what happened. The, the, the issue of accident versus criminal act is obviously one that, that's very much out there for the moment. Uh, we have no evidence at this point that this was not an accident. Among the pieces of the plane, there are personal items like this day planner. But the physical evidence is secondary right now. The priority is finding the victims. We're doing everything we can to try to locate and identify as many of the remains and bodies as possible. As you look back to Long Island, you can see on the sand a collection of vehicles. That is where they are bringing the wreckage of this craft. They're also setting up a temporary morgue over there. Walt Buteau, Channel 12 Eyewitness News. Investigators may already have a break as they probe last night's crash off New York. A New York lawmaker says search teams have recovered one of the black boxes. Safety officials have not confirmed that, and there's no word on whether it's the cockpit voice recorder or the flight data recorder. But the discovery could help investigators pinpoint what caused the crash. A southern New England couple is among those coping with the loss of their family members. Karen Southern is in Edit 12 with the story. That's right, Karen. 82-year-old Edwin Brooks and his 79-year-old wife, Ruth, were on their way to Paris from Edgartown to celebrate Ruth's 80th birthday. Of course, they never made it, and now their daughter, Susie, in Swansea, is grieving her loss. This is also a difficult time for the family members of those who died in another crash back in 1988, the flight that blew up over Lockerbie, Scotland. The first thing I thought of was a bomb, and, you know, I was thinking of my son, and, um, you know, you know what you went through, the anxiousness of not knowing, and finding out something, uh, you know, that was sure, is it or isn't it? Eight years ago, Norma Slogeter waited, too, for Pan Am to confirm her worst fears. And then the phone call, her son Robbie was aboard Flight 103 when it exploded above Scotland. I, I never thought there'd be a day go by that I wouldn't cry. Then this morning, Norma relived that pain all over again with news of yet another in-flight explosion. Now she feels for the families of the victims because their grief is just beginning. It's not that it affects the immediate family. There's relatives and friends. It was, it's far-reaching. Eight years later, is it any easier? Easier because now you try to concentrate on the memories, you know, and the good times. And there are times that just thinking about different things our son did or, or said, you know, uh, can bring a smile to your face. 
Norma tells me that four months after the crash, she and her husband traveled to Lockerbie because they just had to see where their son died. She says the families of the people who died in this crash will probably feel the same way, the necessity to make that difficult journey. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Karen. And there's another Southern New England connection to this tragic story. Newport-based Coast Guard Cutter is playing a key role in the effort to find survivors. The 225-foot Juniper is the on-scene commanding vessel. She was just commissioned 13 days ago in Newport. Coast Guard says Juniper's sophisticated equipment makes her the perfect vessel for the search and rescue effort. When the Olympics get underway tomorrow, and officials say there's no reason to believe this crash is linked to the Summer Games. We checked with airports throughout New England today. Officials at TF Green tell us they have not received any notice to step up security there. The same goes for Logan International Airport in Boston. Both facilities have been on heightened alert since the World Trade Center bombing. But so far, no attempts to bring security to a higher level. If you're looking for more information, TWA has set up a hotline. Just call the number on your screen. It's 1-800-438-9892. Eyewitness News is committed to bringing you continuing coverage of the TWA crash. In other news this evening, Rhode Island lawmakers passed a bill to prevent the Ocean State oil spill from ever happening again. Now, Governor Lincoln Allman has to give it his approval. This was the scene in January, you'll remember, when an unmanned oil barge spilled 828,000 gallons into Block Island Sound off Moonstone Beach. The bill would require oil barges to carry at least two crew members and have a working anchor as well. The measure also requires barges traveling where there is limited visibility to be double-hulled or have a tugboat escort them. If the governor approves the bill, it would take effect next June. Jet skis, boats, horses, and even motorcycles like this one will now help to fight crime in Providence. Providence Mayor Vincent Cianci dedicated the new equipment today at Memorial Park. Cianci says the new equipment is necessary to battle the new demands of law enforcement. With recreational boating having made an astounding comeback in Providence, it's very important to us to have these, these vehicles because of their manageability on our water. The city found the money to buy the equipment by trading in vehicles the police seized in drug raids. The budget battle at the Rhode Island State House is far from over. Debate is underway at this hour as House lawmakers gear up to override Governor Lincoln Allman's veto of the state budget. It remains a good budget. It remains a balanced budget. It addresses the needs of the state. And I see no reason why this body shouldn't overwhelmingly override the governor's veto the governor is elected as chief executive to manage the state. And I think it's wrong, as this budget does, to take that authority away from the governor and give it to the assembly. If the House votes to override, lawmakers say they'll send it immediately to the Senate, where an override is also expected. Allman's budget veto was the first by Rhode Island governor in 60 years. Democrats crafted a $3.5 billion budget. Right now, the sticking point is how to cut the state workforce. Democrats want to do it through attrition. Allman says he wants to offer incentives for early retirement. This little boy was almost beaten to death at the hands of his natural father, but he's managed to survive thanks to a couple who opened their hearts and home. That story next. Fresh from his royal divorce, Prince Charles pays a visit to southern New England. We'll tell you why he's here a little later. And ahead at 6.30, the very latest on the investigation into what caused TWA Flight 800 to explode over the Atlantic Ocean. And find out how safe our airports really are from terrorist attacks. I'm meteorologist Tony Petraka. Chalk up another nice day, but changes on the way over the next 24 hours. My forecast just ahead. I'm Bob Halloran. The Shack strikes at Rich in L.A., and the New England Patriots are in training. They open camp today at Bryan College, and we'll have a full report, plus much more coming up later in sports. Just feel so healthy. Infections long forgotten are resurfacing. Dangerous bacteria are invading the human body. Can drugs protect you? There are some infections we cannot treat, and that is extremely frustrating. Are you in danger? Disease scare. Tonight at 11 on Channel 12 Eyewitness News. 
It's time for the 13th annual Black Ships Festival, July 18th through the 21st in Newport. Catch thundering performances by dynamic taiko drummers, an array of martial arts, sumo wrestling, and more. Don't miss the Newport Black Ships Festival, July 18th through the 21st. Fun for the whole family. Call for information. Mother Nature has provided the squirrel with natural instincts to help prepare for the changing seasons. You and I may need a little extra help. The new L.L. Bean Fall Catalog. It's in your home right now. Tasca Ford has hundreds of great reasons to give you the best deal on a new Ford truck right now. Tasca ordered hundreds of extra 97 F-Series, Rangers, Explorers, Windstars to give you the best selection and best volume price. And you won't pay a dime more for the highest level of satisfaction possible. Why waste your time shopping around? Tasca has the trucks and Tasca's dealing. Tasca Ford, 777 Taunton Avenue, East Providence. More truck for less money at New England's Truck Authority. This is Channel 12 Eyewitness News with Walter Cryan and Karen Adams. When we report child abuse cases, we are rarely able to give you more than the name and the age of the victim. But you will usually see the alleged abuser in court. Tonight, we have the opportunity to put a face to one of the innocent victims of child abuse. Little Brendan Kuna was almost beaten to death by his biological father. Michael Bertrand is up for parole next year. But one couple opened their hearts and home to make a place for Brendan. Channel 12's Ann Conway has the story. This beautiful baby was the picture of health until his father beat him almost to death when he was only six weeks old. His dozens of broken bones healed, but the infant's brain damage will stay for his lifetime. Come see mama, baby. Oh, 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 look at how big my boy is. Kathy Kuna was the first to care for him and now she's made him her son. The doctors told her to expect nothing. As a nurse, her head understood, but as a mother, her heart said no. I said, my God, we can't lose this. You know, this little boy has no one, absolutely no one. And um, I, I really felt very strongly that John and I could do something for him. Someday when you're a big boy, daddy's gonna build you a house and you know what it's going to have? A whole glass wall, and it's going to look at nothing but the ocean. Kathy and John Kuna the know sea. they will devote the rest of their lives to their son, Brendan. Someday, Daddy's going to build that for you. See, he needs reassurance every now and then. It's time to eat, and this is an hour's process. Although his main nourishment is through a tube to his stomach at least once a day, Kathy uses her amazing technique to feed Brendan by mouth. Yeah, just give him kisses. No, no. It's all right. She gets Brendan to purse his lips to kiss her, and that helps him swallow the cereal. So every now and then, he has to look up and... I Even say, if he doesn't oh, yes, understand, uh, Kathy yes, always uh, tells Brendan what she expects. Now this you're gonna die. Watch. Oh. <laughs> yes, my boy. Brendan's legs really don't hold him. He travels in a wheelchair or in Kathy's arms. He's just a, it's like a stroke victim who, he's a prisoner in his own body. He wants to do things and he can't and then he gets frustrated. Maria, Brendan's nurse, is the only person outside Kathy or John Brendan trusts. Oh, look at that. One more time, come on. Oh, yay! You did it! For all of the five hours of her visit, she never stops challenging Brendan. And would we go up? And down. He's just so much happier down here. You know, he gets so much air. Brendan's spirit is strong. He didn't give in to the pain. And his parents have never given up on his future. John and I have high hopes. Nobody... Very few people agree with us. But now, whatever he's doing right now is plus. Because he shouldn't have done anything. And, gee, you know, to John and I, he looks just perfect. <laughs> for Kathy to pick him up and hold him. That's what he likes best. But, you know, spending time with Brendan and his family, it's very hard not to feel that he is perfect. 
but then it was so easy to see how difficult it becomes for Kathy and John and even Brendan when other children are around. It's difficult not to compare, you know, how much he has lost. And when they're all together alone, they just talk about how much he's gained. But you see it. You see the work, the tremendous work they have, have and love they have put into this child and helping this child. But it seems like it's a great effort for Brendan every day, too, because of his disabilities. It is, and his nurse made that really clear to me because she said, you know, he has to learn that touching and eating and feeling and smelling is not something that's painful. For him, that's the only way he knew about his senses. They became painful to him through the abuse. And we did go to Meeting Street Center with him where he was getting a, more therapy. And he seemed to have difficulty with that only because there weren't those close people around. As I said, it was his mother and his father and his nurse that he attaches to. But he tries real hard and it was so cute watching him, you know, trying to grab things or trying to work and strengthen his mouth muscles so that someday he will be able to eat and maybe talk. We it's don't know. It's not just the story of Brendan you're telling here though. It's the story of Kathy and John when they say so many people disagree with them but mm -hmm. they are so determined and they see mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. It's an incredible story. It is. Incredible love. I'm, I'm so happy that I was able to meet them. They're mm. just a terrific family oh. all together. No question. Well, thank you, Anne. Tomorrow night at 6, Anne is back with us. We'll take a look at Brendan's future and what emotional turmoil could lie ahead for the family. Right now, Tony's working on the weekend forecast. You won't want to miss that. We'll be right back. Long ago, an inventor came up with the assembly line, allowing a few people to make a lot of something. It was the model for efficiency. At Chili's, we pride ourselves for our inefficiency because we make each of the Big Mouth Burgers by hand, grilled one at a time by a person. And when you taste for yourself how good they are, you'll appreciate all the time we've wasted. Chili's Fresh Grilled Big Mouth Burgers, monuments of inefficiency. It's absolutely the best carpet offer ever. At New York Carpet World, everything to carpet your home is 50% off. Yes, carpet, padding, labor, all 50% off. Everything 50% off? That's terrific. But it's a big decision. We understand. That's why we work so hard to get it right. The best price and the best service. That's our commitment. Customer first. Incredible. Carpet, padding, labor, all 50% off. Only till Saturday. Only at New York Carpet World. Furniture shopping, as you know it, has changed forever. Now there are two Cardi's Furniture Superstores with a selection so huge, if we don't have it, it probably doesn't exist. Including the best from Sealy and Stearns and Foster. Nobody has more to choose from at our exclusive low Nairobi prices. Celebrate today at Cardi's. We're giving away home furnishings. And a new Mustang convertible. Compliments of our friends at Paul Bailey. Cardi's Furniture Superstores, Swansea, Mass. And now open Route 2, West Warwick. What'll you do with the money you save at Speedy's Half Price Sale? With top quality brake pads and shoes, now half price. And our mufflers? They're half price too. Speedy's Half Price Sale is on now. Speedy for brakes, Speedy for savings. Guaranteed. Okay, what do you demand from a new car? Listen to this. I want the best deal. I gotta have it. And what you're looking for is cash back. That's what I need. I have to have it. Well, now you can get $1,000 cash back on the 96 Ford Escort three-door. It comes loaded with dual airbags, stereo, and more. Plus, $1,000 cash back could mean no money down. So nothing will stand in the way of your demands. At your New England Ford dealer, the more demanding the customer, the better. Keeping an eye on weather with Tony Petrarca. Well, another day with temperatures in the upper 80s and lower 90s, along with a high humidity. But change is coming up uh, for the next 24 hours, which will promise some very comfortable air coming up for the weekend. The forecast for tonight, no problems this evening in terms of rain, though the clouds will be on the increase later on tonight. Any showers should hold off until after midnight, very late tonight. 9 o'clock in the evening, 79 degrees for tomorrow morning. Showers are likely and uh, very humid, too. 8 o'clock in the morning, 72. And by tomorrow afternoon, look for temperatures up to around 80, but a good chance of scattered thunderstorms and even a few downpours possible as well. So grab the umbrellas. Take a look at local conditions right now. Cooler near the coastline, thanks to the old sea breeze blowing at about 15 miles per hour readings in the 70s. But 
away from the ocean's influence, and readings are well into the 80s still. 84 at the airport in Warwick, here in Providence, 83, and the toasty spot in Foster at 86. Officially at the airport in Warwick today, once again, for the second straight day, the high temperature was 88 degrees. Check out radar. Not much going on right now, so any outdoor activities this evening look okay. The thrust of this precipitation precipitation area, showers and thunderstorms, still moving off to the southeast like that. So it'll take quite a while to get here, probably after midnight and especially for tomorrow. Let's check out the satellite photo. Our next weather disturbance shows up very well. We're holding on to the clear weather for now. You can see this little storm system up across the northern part of the Great Lakes right now, moving south and east, and that spells some wet and cloudy weather for tomorrow. But keep in mind, if we get a few hours of sunshine tomorrow afternoon, those thunderstorms could be locally strong, as these thunderstorms love warm air. So if you get a couple of hours of sunshine to boost temperatures up, keep an eye to the sky. Some of the thunderstorms could be on the strong side. We just went by Friday's map. My clicker jumped ahead, but Friday, scattered showers and thunderstorms. I think you'll like the weekend, though. Check this out. Partly sunny, windy, and cooler on Saturday at 79 degrees. And Sunday is an ultra-nice day with plenty of sunshine and a temperature at 80 degrees. Here's your five-day forecast showing the showers and thunderstorms for Friday. Keep an eye to the sky at 80 degrees. Very humid and sticky tomorrow. Clearing out for Saturday, more comfortable at 79. And Sunday, again, looks delightful with sunshine and 81 degrees. And if you like the warm weather, it warms right back up for Monday and Tuesday with temperatures well into the 80s. Irene Fortin from Warren, the Eye on Weather Umbrella winner. I'm meteorologist Tony Petrarca. That is your Eye on Weather. All right, thank you, Tony. Just a fast update from the State House. Up on Smith Hill, the House has now overridden Governor Lincoln Amon's veto of their budget by a 36 to 10 vote, and hopefully they say they'll pass that on to the Senate as quickly as possible where another override is expected. Well, if you were outside today, just as Tony told you, you know just how hot it was. Yes, and the air quality was not good, and that's why health officials declared today an ozone alert day. And that meant free rides on Ripta. If you rode a bus today, then you probably saw some covered coin boxes. Officials say if more people ride the bus and leave their cars at home, it would keep ozone levels down. The New England Patriots get ready for another season, but is Bill Parcells ready? We'll hear from the coach. Plus, Bob Halloran has last night's exciting finish to the Boston Red Sox game and the big move for Shaquille O'Neal, Mexican sports. Is there any place better than America? America quite Sir Dodge Jeep Eagle is selling brand new 1996 Jeep Cherokees for only $15,998. You can afford a new Jeep 4x4. America has them priced lower than most compact cars. This 1996 Jeep Cherokee 4x4 has four-wheel drive, air condition, stereo, and airbag for only $59.98. And America has financing. Don't go through another winter without four-wheel drive and get ready for summer fun. America Chrysler Plymouth Dodge Jeep Eagle at the corner of Routes 1 and 78 in Westerly. Save money on Alpert's three acres of famous name furniture with 0% interest for two full years. Buy everything you want today at Alpert's Furniture with no interest till July 1998. Save today with 0% interest for two full years and no money down. No interest charges till July 1998. Come to Alpert's today for details. But hurry, the sale ends soon. Win a dream house from Alpert's Furnished with Kincaid Solid Wood Furniture. No purchase necessary. Register in Alpert's. Visit the house in our parking lot on Route 6 Seacon. Alpert's, Rhode Island's favorite place to buy furniture. Blimpy founder Tony Conza to see if he can taste the difference between a Blimpy sub and a competitor sub. Mmm. Okay, Tony will now taste the other sub. Mmm. Taste the other sub to see if he can tell which one has choice cold cuts in it and which doesn't. Mm -mm. The other sub. Tony, mm. please taste the other sub. Mmm. Mm. Blimpy, it's a beautiful thing. Independence meal deal, but Blimpy best with 22 ounce drink and chips, just $2.79 through July 21st. The game is on with Channel 12's Bob Halloran. 
Kazam! Just like that, the genie of the magic lamp is a Laker. Shaquille O'Neal signs a seven-year deal with the Los Angeles Lakers worth $120 million, the richest total package in sports history. And the Lakers, they have great tradition. They have great big man tradition. George Mikan, Kareem, and I'm just, you know, I just want to go there and play hard. And they have a young team also. It's not like I'm, you know, going to a team with a bunch of old guys. And, then, and you know, it was... It was a very hard decision for me, and this is going to be... And so on. It could be a depressing sign that summer is not far from over. The New England Patriots opened training camp today. Yeah, the Pats are back, and today they started down that long, hard road, and John Butchgrass was there. We're ready to go. I'm ready to go. And I mean that. I'm as ready as I've been in a long time. Slimmer? trimmer, healthier, and with that old bounce back in his step, Bill Parcells greeted the press today with his trademark vigor, something that was lost at last year's opening presser, a sullen, low-energy Parcells seen burdened by every football thought. And that lethargy, tied likely to his eventual health problems of last year, carried over to his football team. So on a hot and humid day here at Bryan College, Patriots training camp begins, and on the forefront of everyone's mind was making up for last year's six and ten disaster. You know, we want to come in and just redeem ourselves. You know, the pressure's off, unlike last year. People had such high expectations. Now we just have to please the Patriots. And I think that the, the whole team has taken last season as a real motivator. You know, we we felt like we were a better team than than uh, than six and ten going into last year. Uh, and now we, you know, we really have something to prove. Beginning tomorrow, two-a-day sessions begin at Bryant for the 21st year, the first preseason game in just 15 days in Green Bay. The players all want to make up for last year's disaster. The coaches all have one-year contracts. But most importantly, Bill Parcells is energized and ready. Two things the Patriots as a team weren't last year. I look forward to this season very much. I'm going to coach this team as well as I can. Everybody get it. I'm ready to go. Okay? Just let's just leave it at that. At Bryant College, John Butchergrosh, Channel 12 Eyewitness Sports. All right, let's go. In just a matter of minutes last night, the Boston Red Sox went from the lowest of their lows to the height of jubilation after blowing a 7-run lead and watching the Yankees score four times in the ninth inning to take an 11-9 lead. The Red Sox came back against all odds and against the game's best relief pitcher, Jeff Fry wins it with a slicing single there. Sox take two of three from the Yankees. First round of the British Open, and Paul Azinger doesn't like that putt or his putter, apparently. This is not baseball where he can just go get another bat. Azinger had to play the entire back nine putting with his pitching wedge. He shot 74. Your first round leader is Paul Broadhurst. He shot 65. Barrington's Brad Faxon is tied for second with seven other golfers. Faxon shot a four under 67. The Paw Sox beat Scranton this afternoon six to one. Mike Greenwell hit his second homer in three games, and that's sports from the upper deck. If you are a royal watcher, then you'll want to stake out the New York Yacht Club in Newport. Prince Charles is in the city by the sea. We'll have the tales when we return. This portion of the news is brought to you by L.L. Bean. Mother Nature has not provided us with the bear's natural instincts to help prepare for the changing seasons. Fortunately, we have something else. The new L.L. Bean Fall Catalog. The goose is blessed with an early warning system to help prepare for the changing seasons. You and I may need a little extra help. The new L.L. Bean Fall Catalog. It's in your home right now. It's back. Mistakes alive. SE5. Gotta go for your ride. Customized with air, cassette stereo, sliding rear window, alloy wheels, and chrome bumpers. Yeah, mistakes alive. Mazda SE5. Let me go for your ride. Just $11,995 for 6.9 for up to 60 months with zero down. Just let me go for a ride. Mazda. Got a passion for the road. The legendary SE5. Enjoy a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Sunday free when you purchase any one of our delicious classic Big Beef burgers. Summertime is a friendly time. Friendly's. 
Reese's. A free Reese's Sunday with any classic burger. With the rewards of Lincoln, you don't have to spend a fortune to look like a million. Your New England Lincoln dealer has remarkable year-end savings on every model, including the Lincoln Town Car. Now just $4.99 a month for 24 months for America's ultimate luxury automobile, the Town Car. Making this Consumer's Digest best buy an equally attractive lease. Plus sensational savings on the Continental and Mark 8. Whichever Lincoln you prefer, your timing, like your taste, is impeccable. This is Channel 12 Eyewitness News. Royalty is visiting Rhode Island. Prince Charles arrived at TF Green Airport, kicking off his journey to Newport today. Governor Lincoln Almond was on hand to greet the Prince of Wales. The Prince is the guest of honor at a fundraiser tonight in Newport. He's here to raise money for the Mary Rose, a 16th century British warship, which is now being restored. If you didn't spring for the $500 a plate dinner, well, good luck finding him tonight. Prince wouldn't tell anyone what his plans are after the dinner. Could that mean a party? Oh, I is think he's going happening? down the Black Pearl, maybe. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Brick Alley Pub. I don't know. <laughs> That's your early report. Stay tuned now for a CBS News report on the flight of TWA 800 last night. We'll be back at 11. That's a movie that uh, the Dumb and Dumber guy. The search at sea today.